Hello! So, I'm going to do one of my most requested videos. <clears throat> Excuse me. Which is what tattoos I have. And I have a lot. So, bear with me here. Um, yeah, I'll figure it out. So, okay, let's start off. This one is a picture of New York City. The skyline. And it says, we've got these big city dreams. Which is a quote from an all-time low song. Don't judge me. And then, I have this one, which is the Eating Disorder Recovery logo, and red is for anorexia, and it says villain on it. So that one. Me and my mom have matching ones of that. Oh man, I got a lot to show you. This one is Harley Quid, Harley Quid, Harley Quinn, um, in her comic Suicide Squad outfit with the Joker's skinned off face. Her hammer, oh, you can't see it. It's on my back. It's not done yet. But there's that one. I'm trying to do this fast because my battery's all red. This one, if you can see it, is Heath Ledger as the Joker. The end game for this sleeve is going to be Harley Quinn and Joker. So that's why I have them all together. He's so pretty. Look at him. Look at him. And then, <laughs> that's just one arm. So on my chest, I have Set the Music Free, which is a quote from an old um, Never Shout Never song. Again, don't judge me. I don't listen to them anymore, but I did at one point in time, which is why I tell people not to get song lyrics tattooed on them, because one day you might not like the band anymore. But yeah, yeah, that's there. Um, okay, so let's see here. Ah, ah. There we go. On my knuckles, I have Mad Love for the Harley Quinn comic, the Mad Love one with Joker. On my hands, I have Totoro and the other little girl from the movie and the other girl. Um, these aren't done yet. They're going to be the bus stop scene. Ah, trying to get them so you can see them. They're going to be the bus stop scene. So when I put my hands together, it looks like they're standing at the bus stop. Um... Yeah, so there's that. Uh, on my neck, I have the Mad Hatter in John Tenniel's original artwork for it. Endgame is a Alice in Wonderland neck piece. I'm going to add color eventually to that one. Let's see if you can see the back of my neck. Okay, so. If you can't, I'm sorry. But I have an XIXI on the back of my neck for 11.11. This is so difficult! Ah! Okay, it's an XIXI for 11.11. Because I was born at 11.11, in case you didn't know. So that's why that's there. It's not like the Make-A-Wish ones. That's, that's it. Um, this, yes, this is a tattoo. Um, it's the Harley Quinn diamonds because I love Harley Quinn very much. So I got a face tattoo, but there it is. Um, oh, okay. So uh, I have a thigh tattoo of the green arrow. This is a big piece. It goes around my leg, but he was the first comic book character I ever really got into and started reading comics of. And I wanted to get this one because from the quiver series and Kevin Smith did all the artwork for it but I got him in a nice little frame to make it look all nice and uh, finished and pretty but yeah that's that's there Ooh. okay so oh, I have two more big pieces to show you that are not done I'm still working on them one is a sleeve and one is on my back so the back one's gonna be difficult to show you because I'm holding the camera but I'll figure it out. Um, so, on my arm, I have No Face from Spirited Away, the bridge. Behind him, I have the little stone dude that they see when they pull up. Then like going on my arm, I have Yubaba. And then I have the temple, the bathhouse. It's not a temple, what am I saying? The bathhouse. And this is all going to be in color, too. 
my arm's tired, I'm sorry. And then on the, let me see if I can just uh, sit this here. Eh, that's not cool. Okay. And then on the back of my arm, I have this giant here. Let me, let me focus to see. There we go, now it's probably clear. I have this giant kabuki mask. It's a devil kabuki mask. This is nowhere in the movie, but it's Japanese, so we, we had to find something to fit the sleeve that would finish the cover-up of a microphone that I had here. But though that's the cord for it, so we had to grab, we had to find some imagery that would fit it. And I mean, he just, he fits it perfectly. Uh, and then, on the inside of my arm, I have, oh man, uh, I have Haku on the inside, and he's going to be colored too. We're going to put in some soot spirits in random spots on this, but this is going to be all in color. It's a work in progress. I got the outline done last week for my birthday. I'm 23, I'm getting old. Okay. Okay, now, there we go. This should, okay. So, on my back. Don't mind me getting naked. If you can see it all, I have me and my sister and my mom are all getting matching chakra tattoos. If you can hear me talking, we're all getting matching chakra tattoos. So I chose Harley Quinn chakras, so they're all different imagery of Harley Quinn. Um, so I have the hyenas. Her face, the hammer, the bomb, but yeah. This was one of my most painful tattoos, especially when it got up here to the hyenas. Oh wait, I have one more to show you that I forgot about. Okay, so on my stomach, eh, uh, on my stomach I have from Kingdom Hearts, Sora and Riku. Don't mind my little belly. <laughs> and I want to end up putting a Traverse Town behind them. But yeah, so I have a lot of tattoos that I'm working on and planning. But um, I decided to do an update one from the last one where I didn't have nearly as many. <sighs> I am tired now. I need to go take a nap. But that's all. Um, if you have any questions about my tattoos, you could always make a video response about your tattoos to share them with me. I like tattoos. Um, for anyone who doesn't know, I go to Pink Raven Tattoos in Saratoga Springs, and he is fantastic. And he has a Facebook and everything. But he does all of my work. And he's my tattoo dad. But that's all. Um, any questions or comments, you can just leave them below. I love you all. Thanks for watching. Bye.